uh, today I'm going to describe how to upload a docker image to docker hub without a docker file this may be not the best way but when you are dealing with docker containers and docker images for your testing purposes this method may be the may be very handy first of all what you need is to have an account in the docker hub once you go to this url you can create an account in the docker hub as you can see here for the moment i don't have any images or containers created what i'm going to do now is create an image from my local machine and upload it to the docker hub to do that i am using an already created image official image of centos and try to modify it a bit and upload it to the docker hub so <clears throat> i will show you As you can see, there are no any Docker images in my local machine. So I'm going to pull the CentOS 7 image and try to have an inter interactive session with that. I will name my uh, con uh, a container name uh, you can give a uh, valid I mean understandable name for you here and I am using CentOS uh, official image from the docker hub and I am using not the latest but the CentOS 7 mm, there's a reason I'm using this because in uh, for my future videos I am uh, trying to modify this image and do some uh, handiwork you see and I try to install HTTPD so HTTPD and Apache control yep uh, HTTP Docker run minus d name container name center on bash minus c yum install httpd apache ctl d4 ground we run that uh, it says uh, centos 7 image is unable to find locally yes that's true as you can see in my previous command there is no any image locally downloaded so it, uh, it download the image from the um, docker hub it will take some time good uh, now we will run the docker images here as you can see now it has a docker centos 7 image is downloaded centos 7 and the version downloaded tag 
since uh, I have created the container you will see it ps yes this is the container name mm, yeah. and this is the container ID so next uh, I would like to have a interactive session with the container interactive session container ID Uh, now we are inside the container as you can see uh, yep I'm inside the CentOS 7 um, the modification that I'm going to do this container is install Java and upload it to the docker hub and remove the image locally and download the image from the docker hub again and try to verify the java as the java that i have installed and set path is available let's try with the let's verify whether java is already installed in here no java so i will clear the screen um, next I will try to install Java I'll be installing Java 11 open JDK install Java 11 open JDK development yes This will take some time. Yep, I am currently uh, running on a little bit of slow internet, but uh, yeah, I think you can wait. Cool. I'll create the screen. Next, uh, I want to set the Java home as an environment variable. Beforehand, uh, let us check what are the Java versions and Java path available. Get alternatives, config Java. Yep. There's only one Java version available, and this is the this is its path. So I'm going to put it inside the Sharsi. Um 
maybe I don't have Vim installed. Let me see, yep, uh, quickly install the Vim as well because I am a little bit familiar with Vim. Do not take that much. So now we will modify the bash rc file. Okay, let's execute the file. And now we verify Java is installed. Yep. Okay, uh, so that's is, uh, that's all the modification that I need to do for this uh, container. Now I exit from this container. Mm, now what I'm trying to do is upload the uh, container that I have created as an image to the Docker Hub. Let's see how we do. First of all, just like in JIT, we need to commit our changes. Let's say Java enabled CentOS so one. Mm, minus A is the author name. I will put mine. And then the container name, container name. Uh, okay, uh, let me show, show you the container name again first. Docker, yes. So this is the container name. Sorry, this is the container name. Uh, let's commit the changes again. Docker, commit minus n. Java enabled center is seven. So container name is this one, and then the image name. Image name. Uh, has a format that you need to give so first part of the image name is the username of the docker that means uh, once you create in the docker account this is your username so my username is share and then the image name that you want to give so I will give the sent Java and uh, next is the tag so see this is the format that you need to give this this is the username and slash 
this is the image name that you want to give and colon and this is the tag name tag uh, tag number you can give just a int for for my practice purpose i use it as version one and enter okay let's see the images that we have in our local machine yeah here is the uh, image that we have created now we will push it to docker hub docker hub push and we should not is uploading Okay, seems like it has uploaded. Let's go to the Docker Hub and see. Yep, here uh, the image we have created locally has uploaded. This is the tag we have given, version 1. Mm. Okay, uh, now we verify that the changes we have done are already there. First of all, uh, we will see the running image, running containers. We will stop the container. Good. Uh, now we will remove all containers and images. I think not all removed. Just check first containers. Yes, containers has been removed. Images, images are there. First, we need to remove the newly created image. RMI, image ID. Next, we will remove the CentOS 7 image. Docker images okay good now we don't have any images locally now what we are going to do is mm, pull the already created image from our docker hub so you can copy this docker pull command uh, if you do not give a tag it will download the latest one since we don't have so many versions anyway it will download the, the latest as a habit i will give the tag wow. Mm. 
all the images downloading Extracting the image. Good. Now let's see. Yes, the image is there. So from that image, we will create a container. Let's give my scent my scent Java, okay. Mm, and then I have to give the image ID here. Okay, now a container is created. So this is uh, this status is created. So we need to run it. I mean, we need to start it. Start the container. The container ID. Okay. Now we will see. Yes, container has been started. Now let's have an interactive session. With that container minus it container id good so let's see now java is available yep java available java version also the java path uh, okay uh, we will go to go and see the bash profile with the changes are there oops yep it is here so guys uh, this is the end of my video tutorial. I think uh, you may have learned lots of things. And uh, this method mostly I recommend for your practice purpose, not the uh, production purpose. Production purpose, the best way is I think having a Docker file and run the image. But for your uh, testing purposes and creating the images uh, quickly and uh if you are mostly into uh, testing with the containers and changes and uh, having multiple docker containers and trying to interact with this this method will be very handy thank you for watching see you in the next video bye